What kills us after 60? One fall, one fractured hip. The data says almost 50% of adults over 60 won't survive a year after it. Yet, most doctors will recommend what? Hey, uh, eat a little healthier, do some exercise. Let's be blunt, man. That's a two out of 10 prescription, vague, useless, dangerous, okay? So today we're gonna get to the real meat and potatoes of this. Well, not potatoes, because I don't want you to do too much carbs. We need precision strategies, not fluff, okay? There are three systems at play here that keep you standing. So here's the deal. To prevent the fall that ends it all, you have to take care of three systems. Welcome to the Visser Podcast. I'm going to give you the real down low what you need. All right. So one, bone density. Two, muscle mass. Three, motor nerve function. That's the balance. That's the reaction time and the speed. All three of these decline after the age of 40. You lose muscle. You lose coordination. And if you're a woman, your bone density nosedives after menopause. So what? What do we do? We have to start preparing way before, at 40, 50. Okay, if you're 60, it's not too late, start. All right, first, what we don't measure, what we don't test, we guess. So do a DEXA scan before anything. All right, get your baseline. What does a DEXA scan tells you? It's a quick test, 100 bucks. Um, it's better than, you know, in the gym, standing, grabbing the electrodes and doing that stuff. It's, this is the real thing. This is the gold standard, okay? It tells you how much muscle you actually have. It tells you, more importantly, your bone density and where your visceral fat is hiding. Guessing is not a strategy. Testing is. Second, I want you to train smart. Not all exercise works here. Okay, what ma most people get wrong is that walking, jogging, cycling, you know, all great, treadmill, all great for your heart health, but almost useless for bone density and muscle retention, which is what you lose, which is what we need to gain. Because guess what? Falls will kill you. We're, we all fall. All right. If you want to bulletproof your skeleton, you're going to need heavy resistance training or at the very least walking with a weighted vest 10 percent of your body weight this applies mechanical load on the bones especially hip spine femur okay this is what triggers your osteocytes to build more bone and to reboot your metabolism react faster or fall harder fast twitch muscle and reaction time after 40, we lose 30% of motor unit per decade unless we actively train them. And no one trains them. We're all going into the soft, long distance stuff, yoga, this, that. It's all good, but not for this. So here's what I want you to do. Stand up, try to put on your socks. Standing only, no leaning. If you're wobbling, you're already losing balance, coordination. To fight back, train with plyometrics, jump squats, bounding, box jumps, tennis, mountain biking, martial arts, balance drill, one leg death lift, BOSU ball, quick step drills. This is your real anti-fall training, especially for women. Don't skip the hormones. Listen closely. If you're in your 40s or 50s, your hormone panel matters more than ever, right? Ask for full thyroid panel, sex hormones, including estradiol, pregnolone, uh, progesterone, testosterone. Menopause and perimenopause tank your bone strength. We need to test these, right? So this is critical. If needed, considered, consider the bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Really, 
It's not about vanity. It's about protecting your bones, your brain, and longevity. Not only that, that you're, you know, if you don't do it, your bone density will tank. Metabolically, you're going to go bananas. And you become susceptible for chronic disease, heart disease, uh, strokes, etc. You don't want that. You don't want that. Okay? So, what do we eat nutrition-wise? I need you at 1.8 grams per kilogram of ideal body weight. Creatine, 5 grams daily for bones, brain, muscle. And of course, vitamin D, K2, magnesium, they go together. Collagen and vitamin C, omega-3 fatty acids, and most importantly, keep your visceral fat down. It messes with hormones, balance, recovery. This is your bulletproof plan. Here's your prescription. Get a DEXA scan. Resistance training three to four times a week. Add plyometrics and balance drills. Get your hormones checked. Consider BHRT. Dial in your protein and supplements. Keep visceral fat low. And the fall doesn't kill you. It's what you didn't do in the decades leading up to it that will. Now it's time to act. All right? You can visit... Uh, Vera, Vera Doctors, you can look at what we're doing with Vera Longevity, I'm on there. Um, and besides this, I'm going to give you basically a starter kit for longevity, because this is critical. Download your Visser Longevity Starter Kit, veradoctors.com, tools, Visser Podcast here. Uh, it, it will include the DEXA checklist, hormone test guide at home balance test, top six supplements, my complete anti-fall protocol. Every one of you needs this. Every single one of you. Falls are critical. We know everyone falls, right? But if I tell you that 50% of you that fall and get a fracture will die within a year, and that we can totally prevent this. And this happens after 60, so you got to prep it before 60. So I really need you to listen closely, to act accordingly. Not just any exercise, but the exercises I've prescribed here. Not just any nutrition, the nutrition I'm prescribing here. And go back to my other, go back to my other podcast where you can see what I recommend for blood testing. You can see what I recommend for the different training methods um, and key here plyometrics okay plyometrics is the key and also strength all right so we're looking at these we're looking at balance we're looking at reaction time we're looking at being able to manage uh, uneven surfaces and this is great about like mountain biking um, Tennis also, but tennis is on a flat surface. But mountain biking really has a three-dimensional thing to it. You're climbing, you're downhilling, you need to hold balance. You're, you know, you're off balance. You, I mean, this really trains that reaction, motor nerve, balance, the whole thing. So mountain biking is a great activity to be doing um, if that's your thing. If that, you know, if you want to go outdoors, plyometrics in the gym or outside, you can do it, you know, in the park anywhere. Start doing it. I need you to progress in this because, as you know, this starts dropping at 30% every decade. We can't have this, okay? With this training, with this protocol that I'm giving you, you will close that gap. You will not be the one breaking a hip. You will not be the one dying. You will not be the one having uh, disabilities after 60 for the rest of your life okay because if you have disabilities and, and this let me tell you falls are the number one number one killer okay after 60 okay so please heed this this is why i made a separate direct podcast on this because it, it is that important thank you join me leave a like Give a comment, subscribe, and send it to someone that needs us. It's critical. Thank you.